The 79th Light Anti-Aircraft Battery, also known as the Sparrows, was a Royal Artillery unit of the British Army that fought in the Battle of Britain, the Battle of Java, and the Battle of Timor. History Formation The 79th Light Anti-Aircraft Battery was an independent Territorial Army unit of the Royal Artillery of the British Army. Formed in the winter of 1939, the 79th was initially based at Walton on Thames to defend critical installations, such as water reservoirs supplying London. Originally composed of London volunteers, the battery became a full-time unit in September 1939 when war with Germany became unavoidable. As with all territorial army units, the battery was absorbed into the regular army by the end of that month. With three other similar batteries, it became part of the 36th Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment. Battle of Britain During the first two years of World War II, the unit was employed on anti-aircraft protection duties in the Luftwaffe's Blitzes of London. This unit also saw action during the Battle of Britain where it served with distinction defending the Hawker Aviation Factory at Langley, Churchill's country home at Ditchley, and the oil refinery north of Bristol. Later, the 76th was used in the protection of airfields and key installations in Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. Topic: 21st Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment's formation. The battery converted to using Bofors 40 mm automatic anti-aircraft artillery. Additionally, the battery prepared to become mobile, as conscripted 19-year-old Cockney drivers were being trained in Blackpool. Replacement gunners were sourced from the 79th Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment trained at Hadrian's Camp in Carlisle and in November 1941 the men were all issued embarkation leave. The battery was then formed with other batteries, including the 48th and 69th Law Batteries, into the 21st Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment Royal Artillery for service overseas. The battery received quick training in mobile warfare during «exercise bumper» and was issued with a desert kit. Their equipment was painted in desert camouflage ready for overseas deployment in mid-November. Scuttlebutt At this stage of the war, the European theatre had expanded into the Middle East and North Africa, and large convoys of reinforcements were being sent to Egypt via the long, maritime route around the South African Cape and the Suez Canal. Other reinforcements were also being dispatched to India and Singapore. The scuttlebutt amongst the 79th gunners was that they were being sent to Iraq to protect the Basra railhead. The new commanding officer of the 21 Law REGT, LT Colonel Martin Saunders, was called to the war office in the third week of November and was given instructions on the regiment's destination and operational tasks. It was a secret operation known only to a few. He was the only one among the regiment who knew that they were to be a part of a small advanced force for a landing in French Algeria and then a subsequent 500-mile dash to capture the airfields at Tunis and Bizerta. <laughs> Deployment The battery gunners left Gorok on the Warwick Castle at 8 o'clock on 7 December 1941. A small team from the 79th accompanied their equipment on the SS Melancha, which sailed independently from Liverpool on the same day as the Japanese launched their attacks on Malaya and Pearl Harbor. 
While at sea, the planners at the War Office decided to reschedule the operation which had been one of Winston Churchill's pet projects, but without letting him know. The operation would eventually take place a year later as Operation Torch. The small convoy, which had been embedded in a much larger troop convoy WS-14 for their voyage to Gibraltar, the staging post for the invasion of Algiers, did not detach on the 11th of December as planned, but stayed with the main convoy en route to South Africa. The force received no instructions about what would be their new destination and mission. In Cape Town, they were to learn that Britain was now at war with Japan and their new assignment was to defend Singapore. Singapore was under attack before they arrived and they were redeployed to Batavia on the jungle-covered island of Java on 3 February 1942. Their ship was attacked as it arrived in port. In Batavia the 79th Law Battery was split in half. Troop B was sent to defend the airfield of Malong while troops A and C boarded the Ban Hong Leong on 9 February to defend Penfui Airfield in Dutch Timor, the closest airfield to Australia. Timor After their ship was chased and attacked by two Japanese submarines, the ship was attacked by Japanese bombers as they arrived at Kepong Port on 16 February. In Timor, the battery of 189 personnel joined Sparrow Force, a contingent of 1,400 Australian troops, under the command of Australian Lieutenant Colonel William Leggett. To cope with jungle conditions and the fear that their tall white pith helmets would attract sniper fire, the 79th Battery were issued with the Australian Akubra slouch hat, which they wore with the Royal Artillery Cap Badge. They are the only non-Australian troops ever to be issued with Australia's traditional hat. The 79th British La Battery was the only anti-aircraft artillery on Timor. C Troop defended the Penfui Aerodrome while two detachments of A Troop each defended the coastal guns at Klapalima and Force Headquarters at Force Hill. The battery certainly proved an important part of Sparrow Force. In Leggett's log, he praised its actions. This unit showed its excellent discipline and training during the four days of action. Their guns registered 18 hits upon enemy aircraft and reported 14 aircraft destroyed, including one four-engined troop carrier, and a twin-engine flying boat. Dive bombing did not deter them in the least, only ammunition shortages prevented them from engaging all enemy aircraft presented. According to Captain Fred East's intelligence report, the 79th La Bty claimed to have shot down 12 Mitsubishi G4M Betty bombers, 2 Mitsubishi Ki 57 Topsy troop carriers, 1 aircraft that resembled a Junkers Ju 88, possibly a Kawasaki Ki 48. One aircraft that resembled a Douglas DC-3 possibly the Showa, Nakajima L-2D but most likely the Mitsubishi Ki-57, and one naval biplane flying boat which was a persistent dive bomber possibly the Mitsubishi F-1M, they also claimed to have hit 18 bombers and fighters. Some bombers had similar turret and fuselage to the Blenheim bomber. All bombers were twin-engined. Japanese Captain Fukada of the Kambe Company Nishiyama Ace Battalion stated that about 20 of their planes had not returned. Natives claimed to have seen two crashed Japanese transport planes in the bush with about 28 bodies in each. The 79th were potent against invading ground forces. The exploding Bofors shells amongst the coconut palms killed numerous amounts of advancing infantry. As a result of Sparrow Forces actions, Japan's most successful and elite special force, the 3rd Yokosuka Special Naval Landing Force, which fought in China, the battles for Hong Kong and Ambon, was decimated. 
Only one casualty, gunner Fred Watkins, died in combat. Three were killed on Timor from battle wounds. One member of the battery, Fred Berry, attempted to escape by boat to Australia while another, Harry Martin, was captured and executed while trying to pass critical intelligence to the Two Halves ND Independent Company in East Timor. Topic. Capture After capitulation on 23 February 1942 the battery was held at USAPA Basar Pau Camp until 23 September 1942. They were then herded into the hold of an old Chinese freighter, the hellship Dainichi Maru, with the rest of Sparrow Force and transported to Surabaya via Dili coming under attack from Royal Australian Air Force bombers and Royal Navy and Dutch submarines. From there they travelled by train to Batavia and marched 11 miles 18 km to Makassar where they were separated from the Australians and Dutch to join the RAF. POWs in No. 5 camp. There they rejoined their comrades from B Troop. On 15 October, the battery was broken up and sent to different parts of Southeast Asia. Some were held on Java while on 18 October the rest of the battery boarded the notorious Singapore Maru and Oshita Maru freighters to endure a one week voyage to Singapore. At Singapore, the battery was marched 15 miles 24 km to Chani Barracks, where they would be medically examined and assessed for labour camps throughout Southeast Asia. Some were sent to work on the Siam Burma Death Railway, sent to build the Sumatra Railway, assigned to work in labor camps all over Japan, or remain in Singapore at the notorious Chani Prison. Those who traveled to Japan to work in labor camps endured 46 days on the hellship Dainichi Maru and Tofuku Maru. Most casualties were aboard these hell ships, from disease shortly after disembarking at Moji. In Japan, the 79th gunners on the Tofuku Maru traveled by train to Hiraoka where they were held at the Tokyo No. 2 detached Mitsushima POW camp. There, they worked to build the Hiraoka Dam. In April 1944, most of the gunners were sent by train to the Tokyo No. 16 Showa Denko POW camp in Kanoz to stoke furnaces in the carbide factory. The gunners who disembarked the Dainichi Maru joined the Fukuoka No. 1 POW camp. This group would be later split and relocated to camps in Moji, Kumamoto, Oreo, Ube, Amini, and Bibai. Many died from disease or accidents in labor camps on the Siam Burma Death Railway, in Sumatra, Japan, Java, Borneo, and Chani Prison. Later in the war, several died when their hell ships were sunk by United States Navy submarine en route to Japan from Singapore. Aftermath After the war ended, Bombardier A.H. Jock Compton fell through the bomb bay doors of a converted B-24 Liberator bomber transporting liberated POWs from Okinawa to Manila. Thirty other bombers were brought down by a typhoon on the same day on the same route killing almost a thousand liberated prisoners of war. To put this number in perspective, 1036 prisoners of war in Japan died during the war. Topic. War crimes trials Several members of the battery were victims of war crimes. In what would be the first war crimes trial after the war, at Yokohama, Tatsuya Sachiya was found guilty of mistreatment of several battery members which resulted in deaths at Mitsushima POW camp at Hiraoka. Several other guards at that camp would also be executed or imprisoned for their roles in the deaths and ill treatment of battery members. In other Yokohama war crimes trials, several battery members testified against Japanese guards for the ill treatment of fellow battery members at Kanoz and Fukuoka branch camps. In Darwin, Kempatai Lt. Col. Yuhiro Utani was tried, found guilty, and executed for killing gunner Harry Martin. 
In Singapore, Atsu Shiro was found guilty of ill treatment of Allied POWs resulting in the deaths of 27 and physical suffering of many others on the Tofuku Maru. Other Japanese and Korean guards were tried for their roles at POW camps on Java, Siam Burma Death Railway, Sumatra, and the Sanda Khan death marches on Borneo. Decorations Second Lieutenant A. H. Samuelson was awarded the Military Cross. In his citation, it states, on the 22nd of February 1942, at 0730 hours, a Troop 79 La Battery, RA, under the command of two Lieutenant A. H. Samuelson R.A., were attacked by enemy parachutists from an ambush some 800 yards east of village of Baboe in Timor. The enemy, who opened a heavy fire using mortars and automatics, was posted in trees and thick undergrowth. Two platoons AIF counterattacked. Two, Lieutenant Samuelson rallied personnel and displayed considerable coolness directing offensive action while under fire. At one time, the law guns were completely encircled and continuously sniped from some 100 yards distance until the two AIF platoons counterattacked. Casualties 1 killed and 6 wounded. Each member of the Sparrows earned the following medals. Topic. Commanders Topic Equipment Topic Primary Weaponry Timor Eight X Bofors forty millimeters quick firing automatic anti aircraft artillery. Sixteen X Lewis guns. Twelve X Mark II Bren gunsmalong. Four X Bofors forty millimeters automatic anti aircraft artillery. Eight X Lewis guns. Six X Mark II Bren guns. Topic: Secondary weaponry. Number one MK3 asterisk Lee Enfield rifles. Number sixty nine grenades. Thirty eight Enfield revolvers used by officers. Topic: Primary transport. Timor. 8x Chevrolet 5 ton trucks tractors Malong 4x Chevrolet 5 ton trucks tractors topic secondary transport Timor 2x Chevrolet 1.5 ton utility trucks 4x motorcycles with sidecar Malang 1x Chevrolet 1. 5 ton utility trucks. 2x motorcycles with sidecars. Topic Gallery. Topic Roll of Honor. See also Sparrow Force <laughs> Notes <laughs> <laughs>